Hello, welcome to uh, part 3 of this tutorial series for, on the Google Plus API. I'm Alex Barrows from Duckspace.org and in this tutorial we will be covering <coughs> um, how to download the API library and some other things of the Google Plus library. And so the first thing that you'll need to do is go to code.google.com slash p slash google dash api dash php dash client and uh, download the php library which you can get from here. Once you've done that, you need to get it into your root, into the root of your server, and just copy the entire folder across. You'll have a folder which looks like Google API PHP Client. Just copy everything that and everything that's inside it in, onto the root of your actual um, uh, project. And from there, what you need to do is you need to go and open a PHP. Actually, no. Um, we've created the API access. However, what we can't do, what we have to do still, is we have to create a client ID for OAuthorize, or OAuth, or whatever you want to call it. And so, before there was a big banner sort of thing here, I've just created a template one. All you have to do is click on the create, and you um, give your project a name, you give it a, a logo if you want to, but you don't have to do it, give a logo. And then you click on web application, but Later on, there's stuff like Android and iPhone which you can also use, but I won't be showing you how to do that yet, or maybe not in the future, I don't know yet. And then what you do is here, you go on HTTP, or HTTPS if you've got an SSL certificate, and you change this to your web server, so it could be like google.com, or for me it is the .space.org. And from what you do is you click on create client ID, and you will get something like this, which gives you client ID, client secret code, uh, redirect URL or URI, sorry. Um, JavaScript origins, which I'm not sure what that does yet. I'll find that out later. Um, API, then you have your API key from beforehand. So with these three things, the client ID, secret, URI, and the API key, we have everything we need to create a application. And so I'm going to delete those for now. Okay. So what you do is, as you can see, I've required um, the Google API PHP client slash source slash API client dot PHP. We need to include that one and the one below it and the one underneath it, which is the Google dash API dash PHP dash client slash source slash contribution or contrib slash API plus service dot PHP. With both of these now included or required, um, we have everything that we need to actually start pr programming. So I'm going to just do session start. Um, this is just because later on we're going to be creating sessions with um, access tokens and s such like that, so that it's controlled better, basically. And so we need to also create a new um, API client object or class, <coughs> and we also need to set the application name, which we will be doing here as well. So client. And then we're going to do set application application name, and it's going to be Google Plus. Okay. From there, what we do now is because we've generated our client ID, we are going to insert that one. So we're going to do client set client ID. And here I'm going to copy across this, and then we've got client, and we've got set client secret, and this one is going to be copied across also. If you want to find out what other functions there are, you have, will have to simply go into the um, actual PHP files, and you can read that it. it's all open source. It is quite blocky and quite. Oh, it's in the right file. Okay, um, it is quite blocky and it's quite. Okay, I'll open up here. It's quite blocky and quite. Um, a, a lot of information basically is inside it. But it is. It does give you a full list of everything that you can do with it. So, um. Here, this is the one which we're going to be using first, which is the people service resources, and this is going to be getting um, information or the profile about a certain person, which 
based on the ID. Um, it's quite it's quite good um, for a start of what you can do with Google um, plus API. But we will be obviously once they release more, we I will be teaching you other things which you can do. Um, right, okay, sorry, I've got slightly sidetracked. So clients, I'm going to set this one is redirect you are uh, I lowercase r and the i by the way and this one is going to be set to this page um, we all have to create that folder by the way um, but we'll do that in a bit client and then go set this is the developer key <coughs> and it's just set to what your API key is so from there we now have everything set up and what we need to do is I'm going to do client one last thing set scope and I'm going to create an array we don't really need to create an array for this but um, if I wanted to authorize more people than just me then it would be quite useful and to have an array set up so I've got that done for now because later on we'll oops, later on we can add say another user here and such so yeah and now what we need to do is we need to actually create a new object a new class which is the API plus service and then that's going to have client in it okay and now what we're going to be doing is I'm going to um, I'm going to be creating the access token and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, if is set and then get code. Um, you'll understand why we do this in a bit, don't worry, because we haven't actually created this bit yet. And we're going to do client authenticate and then we're going to create a session which is the access token equal to client get Actually, no, we don't need to do that bit yet. We can. That's something about what we do later on. And um, if client get access token me equals yeah, I'm going to call it me actually me, and that's going to be plus and then people get me this will fetch information about me. Um, and then opt runs and we're going to create the max results I'm going to set that to 10 and then activities actually no, leave the activities for now, we're just going to keep it a few full um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a var dump now and have that just dump into what me is and save this and I'm going to save it to where the drop box is so um, I'm going to save that as my plus dot if you want if you hear that vibrate that's just my phone just ignore that nothing bad going on um, okay, so we've got plus.php, which I is now in the Dropbox. Now, as I probably, I think I mentioned in a previous video, I've got a Dropbox because I don't actually have access to a server on, or well, don't have access the password to the server on my actual normal computer, which is a bit annoying, but it doesn't really matter too much. Let's just check. Is that still for video? Right, I don't have access to that to that part of the server for some reason, so we will listen to the boot and I'll open
open up my Dropbox and with all of this done sorry, um, two computers at the same time is really really confusing um, Sorry this isn't quite going as smoothly as possible, but I am trying to sort of partly rush this to get to help people who want to create stuff for Google as quickly as possible. And so obviously there's some problems saying that I haven't had a lot of time to actually look over the code. And this should hopefully work. Warning, no such final. problem with this ok so source that's all fine so far or should be ah that could be a slight problem ok um, there seems to be something missing out of the source from here so it's the API client I'm just going to copy that across should be fine. I don't know why that didn't go up originally. Um, my internet connection has been really slow as well, which isn't helping on the basis that I want to do this as fast as possible. Okay, um, that's now uploaded. Refresh this page. I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to find out what the problem is and I'll tell you how to fix it later. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.